Hey guys, what's happening? So I want to show you guys a small project I'm working on. Um, so I was contacted or contracted to kind of design like a firewall solution uh, that's for a specific customer that's customized. And uh, I tried a couple different options. You know, I looked at PFSense uh, that would actually basically run on like an Intel based PC. Um, but they're actually really expensive. I mean, the typical firewall would have ranged, the hardware would have cost anywhere from the 3 to $4 range. Uh, but then I actually found like another project, an embedded Linux project, which pretty much is the same kind of version of a bootable small footprint Linux that runs on pretty much every home user router out there. That is a router. And it's called Open uh, WRT. And it's pretty much the same version of Linux that all these little home user routers are based off. Like a small image file, bootable image file, that basically runs like a uh, cheap ARM processor. So I have a couple of boards in front of me. I have a Netgear router. I already have OpenWRT on this one. But I'm trying to find a, a, a good solution that's not really based on, you know, an existing, you know, Netgear, right? <clears throat> so I was looking for some, like, third-party hardware that was kind of not based on a, already an existing model. Uh, so I looked at a couple different things. Um, I mean, this is a uh, Orange Pie. It's pretty cool, too. I mean, it actually has that uh, dual NICs. Uh, so I originally was looking for a wireless option that I could actually install in that, but I could never really get it to work right. So this was my first shot. I, I looked at the Orange Pie, and uh, but I couldn't get the wireless module to work. And But we kind of wanted a, a wireless module that we could actually install or, or deinstall. And then, uh, then I actually saw a couple of other boards on AliExpress. And my first one was, uh, I believe it was this board right here. So this actually one was a, uh, had basically onboard wires, dual wireless, uh, 2.4 gig and 5 gig. Had 16 uh, megs of onboard flash. Um, so that's actually another thing too, is you need to actually have an, enough flash memory to run OpenWRT and, and if you want to add modules or customization. Um, so typically they'll come like either 8 or 16 meg or 64 meg. Um, one of, the, one of the reasons I couldn't, another reason why I couldn't use the Netgear box was because it only came with 8 mega flash. So I couldn't create any custom themes or do any customization and add third party uh, packages, you know, QS packages, that kind of stuff. You know, quality of service packages. So, uh, yeah, I think this was my first one here. And the problem with this one is it only actually had 10 100 megabit. So it's basically four, four LAN ports and a, and a WAN port. So a router plus wireless, but you don't need to have the wireless option. It can just be a router. And then, uh, you know, we got this other one who actually would actually have the five gig or five ports, but it was a gigabit interface, dual wireless, um, 2.4 gig and five gigahertz. You know, here, here are the radio connections right here. And this is actually the one we might work. It might, we kind of maybe agreed on this one, but um, I'll show you another board. I'll put links to, down below where you can get all these boards. Um, but this is my favorite board right here. Take a look at this one. Five ports, USB 3.0. Um, it does actually doesn't have on board wireless, but it actually has two uh, PCI mini PCI slots, or actually has three. So you can actually add uh, you know uh, wireless cards here, or it can also be M SATA too. Um, so this one is definitely pretty cool. Take a look at this. It has built on UART ports right here, GPIO pins. So it's really, it's almost like it's a Raspberry Pi, but it's a router. You know, the customization you can do to it. Um, but it also has, a, you know, options for 4G, like a SIM card. So if you wanted to, you could hook up like a, a 4G a wireless radio to it. You know, so it could actually be like a, like a, you know, like a, like a 4G wireless router. Um, and also has actually SD card. So the cool thing is you can actually boot from a MSATA, or you can boot from the internal flash. This one actually has 16 gig of internal flash right there. And then uh, you can also, act, I can add like an MSATA drive. And here's the MSATA drive. So you can add, add like a bootable MSATA drive. If you need more memory, you know, up to gigs of memory. Um, like I said, then you actually would have the wireless cards that go here. And the cool thing about this one is so, um, it's network and hardware doesn't change very often. You know, like 100 megabit, one gigabit, 10 gigabit. That actually doesn't change that fast, but wireless technology changes very fast. So that's actually one of the reasons why I like this board too, is that 
if the wireless technology changed, I could just swap out the cards to like the, whatever the latest technology was and download the drivers, you know, maybe recompile Linux if I had to. Um, this could also work as a, as a NAS, you know? So if I want to hook up, uh, you know, a, a serial ATA SATA driver here, I can create a NAS. Um, it also has power for output for power for uh, the hard drive. Um, or you could just actually even just use a huge uh, M SATA drive. So M SATA is kind of being phased out with uh, M2. So, but yeah, I, I like this option the most, but I don't know. It's a cool project, man. You should take a look at it if you want to build your own custom router. Um, like I said, I mean, just about every single home user router, you can get open WRT on that device. But, uh, yeah, still working on it. I'm making some custom firmware and doing some stuff with it, but thought I'd show you the product I'm working on. All right, cool.